Hey, what's going on YouTube? A lot of people buy gaming monitors looking for low input lag. A commonly reported statistic with gaming monitors is response time, but response time and input lag are two very separate things. Response time is the measure of how long it takes a pixel to change color from gray to white and back to gray, the gray to gray time. And on my monitor, the Asus 144Hz monitor, the response time is one millisecond. A lower response time is better because it helps prevent vestiges of previous images, motion blur, and ghosting. Input lag, on the other hand, is a time in between when the graphics card sends a signal to the monitor and the monitor actually displays the image. You want that value to be very low. The problem with the input lag statistic is that there is very bad consolidation of standards in how companies are measuring input lag, and input lag itself is not a commonly reported statistic by the manufacturer. Individuals and product review websites have taken to measuring input lag, but again, their methodology is shoddy and difficult to validate at best. Response time suffers from the same problem, where across different manufacturers there is very bad consolidation of standards and testing methodology, so there is a lot of variability between actual reported response time and performance across comparable monitors. What's a good response time, aka what's a good grade to grade response time? If you're using a 60 hertz monitor, 5 milliseconds is good enough because the frames aren't displayed to your screen fast enough for a lower response time to make a difference in reducing ghosting or motion blur. But if you have a very fast refresh rate monitor like a 144Hz refresh rate monitor or 120Hz refresh rate monitor, you want 2 milliseconds or lower. Now with input lag, obviously you want as low of a value as possible, but without reported statistics for input lag, how are you going to know which monitor has the best input lag value? It really doesn't matter. A few hundredths of a second isn't going to matter when you're playing online and you have a lot of other factors to consider like server ping and your monitor refresh rate and all that jazz. So even at the highest level of esports online, it's not going to be that much of a factor in your gaming performance. You should work on your in-game skill rather than obsess over a few hundredths of a second of input lag. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I clarified a lot of misconceptions about gaming monitors. My name is David. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more PC gaming tips.